embrace the journey of life, knowing that with God all things are possible. Good morning and welcome to our Sunday morning worship service. Please rise as you are able and let us join in the opening hymn, Holy, Holy, Holy. Let us join in an attitude of prayer. Father, Mother, God, Infinite Spirit, as we assemble here today with open hearts and open minds in the vibration of love, we ask that we be open to receive the divine guidance that each of one of us needs individually and to step into that wisdom to apply that guidance in our own individual lives and to send forth healing to all of the world that we, the children of God, may be able to rise above the situations that are taking place in the world and find that place of peace and unity, that we can walk in peace and harmony with each other, knowing that we all are a divine spark of the infinite and that together we can and we will overcome. And as we pray for all souls everywhere that are in need of healing, we pray for those that are in hospices, individual homes, hospitals, and those that are homeless or feel that they have no one to pray for them. May they open their hearts and minds and be able to allow that spark of healing to take place in their lives with the infinite wisdom embedded in it to guide them to walk the path of their own soul's journey, not trying to mimic someone else. For, the, for these things and all other blessings, we are truly grateful. And we ask that we all join together praying the prayer that Jesus, our wayshore and master teacher, taught the original disciples. Our, our Father, Father, which Lord, art in Lord, heaven, Lord, hallowed Lord, be Lord, thy Lord, name. Lord, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And leave us not in temptation, but deliver us from error. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Thank you and please be seated. It is now the time that we declare our principles as accepted by the United Metaphysical Churches, which is the cornerstone and foundation of our belief system. And they will come up on the screen and we will declare those in unison. We believe in God as infinite intelligence. We believe that the phenomena of nature, both physical and spiritual, are the expression of infinite intelligence. We affirm that a correct understanding of such expression and living in accordance therewith constitute true religion. We believe in personal responsibility and that we create our own happiness or unhappiness as we live in harmony or discord with natural, physical, and spiritual laws. We affirm that the existence and the personal identity of the individual continues after leaving the physical world. We affirm that communication with spirit is a natural experience and is demonstrated through mediumship. We affirm that examples of prophecy and healing found in the Bible and other sacred texts are divine attributes found in all people. We believe that the highest morality is contained in the Golden Rule, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. We affirm that the doorway to revelation is always open to any soul, here or hereafter. Our special music today is titled Sanctuary. So as you listen to this music, 
allow the words and the vibration of it to take you to that place where you need to be to get your own guidance. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and that you have allowed your consciousness to expand to. See a golden orb as it moves toward you. You begin to feel the warmth and you feel your heart begin to open. Knowing this is the vibration of love 
And as the orb comes closer, the energy becomes stronger. And you know that you're truly standing in the presence of the divine. Allow yourself to absorb all of the wisdom. Feel the transformation as it takes place within. Knowing that you are the divine master of your own vessel. You have the power and the authority to guide your own ship and to change course at any time you feel that it is important to do so. So feel the transformation of that vibration as it moves down through your body, opening the heart chakra moving on down throughout your solar plexus and slowly moving on down through the entire body out through your knees your feet and feel the energy as it goes from the bottom of your feet out into the universe knowing that any place where your feet tread you are truly walking on holy ground. So as you allow yourself to embody the transformation that you feel taking place within you, validate that it is real and affirm that I can return to this place at any time my heart so desires. And so it is. And after the lights come up, you may feel free to open your eyes. Our scripture today is 2 Timothy 1, 7, and the title of our lecture is 12 Principles for a New Reality. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. May Spirit bless the reading of the scripture. Life is about being, and we are endowed with the spirit of power, love, and a sound mind, all that we need to be a living sanctuary. A new reality brings a vista of awareness. In order to operate successfully in the new environment, we need to pl apply new principles, which come with an expanded reality. Such knowledge empowers us to awaken to our newly expanded potential and manifest it with ease out into the world. There are basic principles of the universe as seen from one's expanded vista of consciousness this new reality through which the ultimate real reality is recognized is universal consciousness, the formative essence behind everything that is in being or everything that exists. This essence can be called infinite being because it is the awareness behind everything that is. The 12 principles that describe our new reality is, first, infinite being includes all that is. Nothing exists outside of it. The universe exists within the consciousness of infinite being. The physical world exists within the consciousness of infinite being. We exist within the consciousness of infinite being. Second, we are infinite being. Creation is holographic in nature, meaning that the one can be found within the all. For example, the oak tree produces a small acorn, yet the life form of the complete oak tree is in that tiny seed. 
If a picture hologram is divided into two parts, both parts will retain the complete original picture. While we are a part of the consciousness of infinite being, we are also infinite being itself. At the deepest level of reality, all that infinite being is, we are. Therefore, we are, each of us, separate and independent infinite being. Third, purpose in life. Our overall purpose in life is to experience it from one individual, unique point of view. Just as each snowflake is unique, so is each person. From a cosmic point of view, you are one expression of an infinite being as it experiences itself from all possible viewpoints. In this way, through each of us and all life, infinite being gains infinite experience. At a personal level, we are individual souls. Pre-planned the major themes of our life, we chose the time, the place, and our parents in order to set a life plan in motion which would explore these themes. Such pre-planning gave rise to the occasional occurrence of related meaningful events in our individual lives, which may have already given us the impression that destiny does exist for all. Destiny does exist to the extent that the major themes of your life are pre-planned by you ahead of time. As we pass through life, certain names, places, people, and activities resonate with a certain specialness in our consciousness. It's almost as if you knew them once before, but you can't quite remember where or when. And some cases you will have that memory and will recognize that individual at that deep soul level. That is destiny as it unfolds important pre-planned and previewed events in life. In the phenomena called deja vu scenes that we recognize as they unfold in our lives are the scenes which we have previously viewed in other states of consciousness. This previewing occurred either during your pre-life planning or more often in a recent out-of-body dream state to help us remain on, on purpose, we reviewed the important upcoming events in our lives. It's like sometimes just before we have an important event coming up, we will have one of those events and we will remember it very vividly. And when we do that, we know the actual choice or turn in life that we are most inclined to take. Four, free will enables us to explore our true potential. Free will fills in all the details. It can be used to any degree that we choose. The most productive use of free will is to explore our true potential within the themes of life that we have pre-planned, thus gaining the greatest possible growth for our individual soul. Fifth, reincarnation exists to provide a variety of experiences so that life skills may be gained and so that while in a physical body, we can rediscover our spiritual connection with the source, infinite being. Sixth, life after death. From the point of view of our true inner personality, Passing away from the physical realm is like stepping out of a suit that we have worn for a while. The suit is not the real us. In our spirit body, we move into the spiritual realm, which is a place of joy and healing. After meeting with friends and relatives who have passed on before, we start to work on resolving the issues which caused inner conflicts while we were in the physical body. 
Then as we move into the higher realms, remembering more about who we really truly are, we experience a reunion with the rest of our immediate extended soul families. Seventh, life reflects what we project. Reflection is a property of the universe, also known as karma. The, this principle states that life reflects your beliefs, emotions, and actions. The stronger those are, the more apparent it becomes that the life is a mirror of what we project. Every time we change the way we view life, the universe, just like a mirror, reflects our new view of reality. This may not occur instantaneously, as often circumstances do not allow the new reflection to immediately manifest. In this case, the new reality is held like a, like a pressure within the aura of our body's subtle magnet magnetic field. We then walk around in life surrounded by this magnetic potential as it influences our circumstances to adopt in a new form where the reality will be able to manifest and operate. Simply, we can set things in motion and have them manifested in the ethers, but until we adjust our consciousness to accept it, we will not step into it and own it. This may not occur as often as circumstances because we just simply uh, are not ready to move into that. Therefore, if we don't like the circumstances in our lives, it's our responsibility to, to discover how we are generating this reflection, changing our point of view so that we once again change and hopefully this time we will be more specific as we plan what we desire to step into. The universe always reflects back to us what we send out. Reflection works like the law of physics. It's how the universe was designed. The mirror of life will shine happiness upon you, but not until you first decide within yourself to become a happy person. Then it will reflect your new reality. Eighth, abundance is natural. Natural abundance comes from getting into the flow. By doing work that brings a sense of inner contentment, the phrase, follow your inner joy, is actually the key to abundance. Once we follow our innermost joy and adapt our situation to doing work that we love, synchronicity begins to flow in our lives. Synchronicity is the universe's way of telling us that we are on the right track. It is a flow of events where everything begins to work in harmony and we see evidence manifesting that supports our efforts. Synchronicity brings us opportunities, people, events, and circumstances as we need them. When life flows naturally, the universe's natural state of abundance automatically flows to each of us as we will allow. Ninth, love is the only reality. Unconditional, holistic love is the answer to all of life's challenges. We are here on earth to love ourselves and others, and to accept ourselves and others completely without judgment. At this point, some people ask, why are we supposed to love someone who is bent on being antisocial, even destructive? The secret is th that there is a difference between an acceptance of the outer beliefs of a person and an acceptance of their inner essence. We all come from that same place with our inner essence. Regardless of that person's outward belief, whether we agree with it or not, it is the inner essence of that person that we learn to recognize, to love and accept. The secret is that unconditional love 
will heal the world and there is no shortage of its supply. The universe is permeated with unconditional love and held together by the love aspect of the creator. We only have to allow that energy to flow through us to experience its wonder. That should not be truly that difficult. 10. Self-responsibility. We create our own reality and must take personal responsibility for it, for evolution of consciousness to take place. Our life is a reflection of our point of view based on the experiences that we as a soul planned for this life. 11. True. Truth is everywhere. The ultimate truth is to be found within. Yet the study of a variety of sources of importance of information helps us to reawaken and remember our own inner truth. Our intuitive sense is our guide as to what material is most appropriate for us at any particular time during our personal development. 12. Inner connection and insight. Interconnection with our spiritual source promotes spiritual transformation and the achievement of our true potential. Developing intuition provides an essential insight into life's experiences. This can be achieved through regular daily meditation and <clears throat> prayer. When we go to God in prayer and our meditation, we should speak freely to infinite mind, then wait in silence for guidance. Through our newly developed intuition, it is up to us to ask to act upon this guidance, extending forgiveness to ourselves and others, letting go of negative karma, freeing our minds to live in the present, not worrying over what happened last year or in a past life, not fretting over what will happen next week or in our next incarnation. We have the power to resolve those issues right now in the present moment by choosing a new reality, one that demonstrates the spirit that God has given us with the attributes and power of unconditional love and a sound mind, capable of understanding that our happiness or pain does not reflect either blessings or betrayal by anyone other than ourselves. We are the masters of our destiny. And David Dong stated, once you realize the power of your tongue, you won't say just anything. When you realize the power of your thoughts, you won't entertain just anything. And once you figured out the power of your presence, you won't be just anywhere. Meditation and prayer promotes intuitive insight, unconditional love, experience through our personal experiences, combined with the understanding that being is composed of will and consciousness, teaches us how to embrace the journey of life using the mind that, gave, that God gave us, not the one that we have created for ourselves. Second Timothy 1.7 states, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. All that we need to be a living sanctuary for the Christ consciousness, as did Jesus the Christ. Namaste.